ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಚೋದಯಾಂಧ So Sairam everyone we continue to discuss um such a side philosophy and usually as usually I wish to quote one of his divine discourse and uh, just to analyze to comment the meaning uh, basically I think it's very important that sometimes we uh discuss exactly philosophy of such a side because um i don't know maybe you you can be agree with me or not um, but uh quite often we focus our mind too much on um some miracle part of his mission and much less on philosophical part which is extremely important Well this quote is from a collection of his um, lectures 1991 and uh, the quote goes like that God is love love can only be felt through love one who is in love can find oneness with the divine Okay uh what does it mean love yeah, and what does it mean that exactly love and compassion is the main uh, tool for the god realization okay jesus uh told that we have um like you know to love our neighbors the same way like we love ourselves but the point is <coughs> that first we have to love ourselves and that's very subtle message actually because without appreciation acceptance love true love to yourself you can't love god or your neighbor suppose if you hate yourself if you reject yourself if you, if you can't manage to be with yourself how can you experience love for god or love of god or really experience um compassion and love regarding like all human beings around all around so it means first we have to establish if you wish to create connection with ourselves so okay when we speak about personal consciousness there are two aspects and one of them is ego in sanskrit we call it ahamkara and another one is just soul in sanskrit we call it jiva or jivatma in both cases <coughs> this is like experience of separate personal consciousness but difference is huge because if it is ahamkara means ego means separateness from god and from other people as well and then not possible to experience love and compassion but if you in tune with your you know vibration of soul then oneness love compassion possible as obvious mystical experience so to connect with yourself means to connect with your soul and be careful not to be connected with your ego because ego is always in a state of fear ego always struggling ego always um actually aggressive because ego it's something which is always separate 
from God and this wonderful universe. And then when you experience vibration of your soul, then you can experience love. And that can be regarding God, regarding your neighbors. Actually, I remember in the middle of 90s, I met Mother Teresa of Calcutta. It's happened in Delhi. And um, even now, I remember amazing vibration of love, peace. You know, it's not something intellectual. It's not something logical. It's just pure vibration and pure... Uh, experience and um, you know uh, actually I studied different scriptures Vedic Buddhist and Christian uh, but I think that exactly in Christian and Buddhist religion the idea and importance of actually compassion and love is uh, especially powerful that's the reason why Jesus Christ and his uh, apostles, they emphasize that love is the most important. Even if you can be clear wound, even if you can uh, express whatever healing power, it's useless. That's Bible teaching, New Testament te teaching. Love, that's what makes you divine human beings, not clear wines, not mystical experiences, not supernatural power. In the same, <coughs> in the Buddhist tradition, when wisdom, which is about emptiness, which is about oneness, must, comes together, hand by hand with um, compassions, then you are divine practitioner. So it's very interesting that um, it's so simple, but at the same time, extremely difficult, I mean simple intellectually, and very difficult sometimes, quite often, unfortunately, to experience and to express. Each and every human being, each and every modern spiritual practitioner basically knows that God is love, and that's message um, for the Hindu religion, for the Christian religion. Okay, in the Buddhist uh, tradition, they don't have God as personality, but compassion, okay, is uh, extremely important. But how to experience and how to express this very big question. And that's the reason why, according to my understanding, Satya Sai encouraging us to practice meditation because only through meditation you can experience your soul and the moment you start to experience your soul vibration of your soul then immediately and naturally you experience vibration of love compassion and then you just start to express it then you start to express it because it's very easy you know, to love just humanity. But it's very difficult to express kindness if you come across any individual, and maybe that individual, that person, he or she needs your help. We have a huge number of religious leaders who are speaking about general love and they speak about humanity. But it's always personal. Compassion is always personal. Um, let us remember again Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She was serving not just humanity, but she was serving, helping to the many but individuals. Very personal. Service, true service is always personal. That's that's very interesting phenomenon. That's very interesting, yeah. Okay, Sairam. God bless all of us. See you next time.
ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ ಧೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನಃ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ